Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your boy Chicken Broth here, and today where I'm gonna be doing a Bone Lab Code Mod Showcase. So in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing a bunch of cool code mods that I found, and yeah, let's get over to the first one. First code mod is called Spider Lab Made by Parcel, and basically, in short, it gives you Spider-Man powers, you can swing around, you can even web zip, you can even, uh, you can even stick to walls. So you can climb up walls and stuff. And this is the bone menu for it. In the input section, I, I put on grip and double gesture. Unfortunately, um, on Quest, Spider Lab does not support any other inputs. This is the only input that currently works for Spider Lab on Quest. Also, do not download Spider Lab from the Funder Store because that's for PC only and will not work on Quest. The only way to get this on Quest is by going to the Bone Lab Discord server and asking for the mod there. But I will leave a link to that Discord server in the description and the link to all the other mods as well. In this mod, you can also change your web swinging, basically. Aiming reticle allows you to basically aim with your spider lab, and here's your basically controls the strength of your webs whenever you like yank and stuff. So basically, if you change, you can change the settings to see like basically how strong or weak your web zips are. So this next mod is called Hit Markers, made by Not Enough Photons. What this mod does, it basically allow allows to add hit markers into the game. So Let's just shoot four, and as you can see, there's a hit marker, and if you kill him, this little skull thing comes up, and yeah. There's a bunch of, like, different add-ons, like custom textures and custom sounds to this mod inside of Thunderstore, and yes, they do work on Quest. As you can see here, I mixed up some, uh, some different, like, hit marker texture and stuff, so I have, like, this red skull and that, and yeah, it's pretty cool, and you can fiddle around with it and stuff, yeah, it's pretty fun. So this next mod is called Ragdoll Player, made by Lacatraz, and basically what it does is just lets you ragdoll in the game, and uh, yeah, it's just pretty fun, especially in multiplayer, you can just goof around with friends and stuff, ragdoll, they can pick you up, yeah, it's pretty cool. So here's the bone menu for the Ragdoll Player, there's the mod toggle, keep arm control, what that does, basically if you ragdoll, you, you keep your arm control so you can still move your arms and stuff but your legs are fully disabled. Then you have the binding, so I set it to my right thumbstick, so there's the hand where you can set it to. You can you can change it to thumbstick press, double tap, and yeah. The next mod is called Colorful, made by Bread, and basically what it does, it makes your menu all colorful and stuff like that, so your avatars are like green, levels. Uh, orange and you can actually customize all the different colors so like this not just this you can customize it to whatever you want even the spawn menu is colorful which is pretty cool so here how to customize it basically these are all the customizations the level select colors the preference colors stuff like that the next mod is called neck break made by Buggo Bug, and unfortunately this mod is not on the funder store it's actually only available in the bone lab discord and yeah, but I'll still put a link to it in the description. And if you're not familiar with the Combat pl Plus mod, I think, that was a modern Boneworks which basically allows you to break Ford's, Ford's neck. And uh, so, as you can see, I just snapped his neck. And his neck is all dangly and stuff, and yeah. And another thing is, you don't even have to snap his neck for his like neck to break. You can just kill him normally and his neck will still break still break the next mod is called index finger curl and what it does it basically makes your hands look like you have an index so i guess this, it makes your hands look a little bit more natural like in real life your hands are not like your fingers are not like perfectly straight so it kind of curls them slightly making it a little bit more i guess immersive and if you press the top button on whichever controller you can actually flip. You can actually f put up the middle finger, and it's pretty fun in multiplayer and stuff. You want if you just want to flip people off. The next mod is called Fog Toggler, and judging by its name, what it does, it allows you to enable or disable the fog inside of a map. So on Halfway Park, you can see there's a not a lot of fog, but there's still a little bit. So let's just go to the menu, Fog Toggler, click this, and it disables the fog. I'm not sure if you guys quite see the difference, so let me just enable it. A little bit foggy, disable it, and it's much more clear. 
let's go over to the um, Void G11 4, uh, and you will see a b bigger difference over there. So, as you can see, we're in Void G11 4, and as you can see, it's pretty, pretty foggy. So, let's just go over to our Fog Toggler. Click this old button, and there you go. It does, in, since there's so much, like, fog, the mod doesn't really fully, fully disable it, but it still disables most of the fog, which is still pretty nice. It looks a bit more clear, so it's, so it's probably good if you like to just play around in Void a lot, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Next mod is actually called Void Menu Enabler, and basically what it allows you to do is inside of this, basically, main menu void screen, it allows you to enable the menu, and and it basically allows you to mess around in here and stuff. If you don't have this mod, originally you actually won't be able to pull up, pull out the menu. So like you're not able to pull out a spawn gun, spawn NPCs and stuff. I don't know why that wasn't in the in like in the base game. I really think they should have just allowed you to mess around in here, but. I, but yeah, just install this mod and now you can just basically play around in here. The next mod is called Holster Hider and basically what it allows you to do is to hide different holsters. You can hide your body log as you can see. I I basically hid my body log because I thought, I don't know, it looks kind of clunky and it just makes my avatars look more clean. Oh, here's the bone menu for it. It allows you to, um, it allows you to make it default. Invis disabled and invisible disabled basically just completely disables and doesn't allow you to use it but i just keep it at invisible because i still want to use my body log and you can do the same thing with all of the holsters with your um ammo pouch your holsters even your back holsters and last but not least we have the slide scale mod and what this mod allows you to do it allows you to shrink and enlarge stuff so let me show you so we have a gun and we have a Ford and with this mod we can make the gun big we can and we can make the gun small and we and the, and the weird thing is it doesn't actually make the magazine smaller it still the magazine still become the same size so as you can see there's this big magazine and this tiny gun so let's just Let's just make it a little... Now, let's make it really big. And yeah, the magazine is still the same size. So, it's this tiny magazine inside of this big gun. And the thing is, this doesn't do, do anything to damage. It base, The damage in the gun basically stays the same. But it just makes the gun bigger. And you can do the same thing with NPCs. So, let's grab, I don't know, Ford's arm. We can make it big. We can make his chest big. Or we can make it small. We can make his head big. We can make his head small. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Wait, where's my gun? Where's my gun? Die, you abomination. And yeah, basically, uh, the mod allows you to make abominations out of NPCs. So unfortunately, that is the end of my mod showcase. It was really fun uh, making this video, guys. And it actually took me a little bit longer because... I actually already recorded a video, but my mic was muted, so I recorded an entire video without my audio, and it was pretty annoying. But anyways, it's been fun making this, guys, and yeah, happy modding.